Water recreation is both fun and therapeutic. However, it involves inherent risks of injury and death. Before assembling your spa, please read all of the instructions and safety warnings in your owner's manual. The guidelines in our instruction manual do not replace the need to exercise common sense, stay alert, and take all precautions required for keeping everyone safe when using your spa. Continuous and competent adult supervision of children and the handicapped is required at all times. Always use layers of protection when using this product. To purchase Intex parts and accessories, or for questions about Intex products, visit our website at www.intexcorp.com. Thank you for purchasing an Intex Spa. Your family will enjoy a new dimension of fun, sharing, and relaxation. As the owner of the spa, you need to be aware of the risks associated with this type of equipment. There is a risk of accidental drowning and extreme caution must be exercised to prevent unauthorized access by children. To avoid accidents, ensure that children cannot use the spa unless they are closely supervised at all times. There is a risk of hair and body suction entrapment requiring special attention to proper use of the suction outlet and pump. There is also the risk of injury and electrical shock requiring specific safety precautions such as GFCI RCD protection, maintaining the proper distance from electrical appliances, etc. Read the manual carefully for full details on necessary precautions and to understand and avoid these risks. It is very important to follow all the warnings and safety guidelines. At least two people are needed to set up the spa. Please follow the instructions shown in this video and in the manual for proper installation and safe usage of your spa. Your pure spa jet and bubble massage may be set up outdoors or inside. However, it is important to determine ahead of time where to set up your spa since the spa cannot be moved once it is filled with water. If the spa is set up outside, do not set up on grass or dirt and make sure to follow all local and state safety regulations. Your spa must be set up on a level area free of obstructions and sharp objects that might puncture the spa. The spa must be at least four meters from the electrical outlet. The spa control unit electrical cord must be able to reach a GFCI or RCD protected electrical outlet without using an extension cord. Follow the instructions in the manual to test the equipment using the GFCI or RCD buttons on the plug. Do not use the spa if the GFCI or RCD outlet is not functioning properly. Disconnect the power cord until the fault has been identified and corrected. GFCI RCD protected circuits must be tested before each use of the spa. When you have determined where to set up your spa, move the spa without dragging to your selected area and lay out all the parts to become familiar with the equipment. To begin setting up your spa, assemble the control unit Remove the cap from the receptacle on top of the base and plug the control unit cable into the receptacle. Secure it with the attached nut. Lower the control unit onto the base and check that it is seated securely. Bolt the unit into the base with the provided bolts and wrench. Spread the insulated ground pad over the cleared area, bubbles face down. Lay out the spa over the ground pad. With the drain valve pointed in a suitable direction for drainage. Move the control unit next to the spa air valve. Locate the inflation cap on the side of the control unit. Give the cap a quarter turn counterclockwise to remove it. Then insert the large end of the inflation hose into the inflation outlet. Turn the hose clockwise until it locks. Unscrew the air valve cap on the side of the spa wall. 
leaving the stem in the up position. Insert the other end of the inflation hose into the valve and turn it clockwise to lock it into position. Plug the control unit electric cord into a GFCI RCD protected outlet. Press the power button on the control unit. Then press the bubble button on the left side of the display to pump air into the spa. The spa tub will inflate in three to four minutes. Inflate the tub until it is firm, but not hard to the touch. Never overinflate or use high pressure air. When the tub has been inflated, press the bubble button to stop the flow of air. Disconnect the inflation hose from the spa and attach the pressure gauge to the air valve to verify that the tub has been properly inflated. The pressure gauge indicator should be in the green area. If overinflated, release some air by pressing the back end of the pressure gauge. If more air is needed, repeat previous steps. When the spa has been properly inflated, replace the spa air valve cap giving it a turn to the right. Hand tighten only. Do not use excessive force. Inflate the spa cover. Open the air valve in the cover and insert the inflation hose. Turn the nozzle clockwise to lock it. Press the bubble button to begin inflating the cover. Inflate the cover until it is firm, but not hard to the touch. Press the bubble button to stop the flow of air. Then disconnect the hose from the cover and close the air valve firmly. Turn the control unit off and unplug the unit. Unscrew the inflation hose from the control unit and replace the cap. Turn it clockwise until it locks securely. Move the control unit to the side of the spa with the inlet connectors marked A, B, C, and D. Remove the caps from the connectors in the spa wall. And check that the O-rings are in place. Attach the control unit to the spa wall by matching the A, B, C, and D connectors. Hand tighten the attached nuts securely. Never move the spa with the control unit attached as this will damage the connection fittings. Attach the filter cartridge housing assembly, items 12, 13 and 14 to the outlet grid marked B on the spa wall. Before filling the spa, ensure that the bottom drain caps are securely closed both inside and out. Fill the spa with fresh water from a garden hose to between the minimum and maximum indicators on the inside of the spa wall. Never pour water hotter than 40 degrees directly into the spa. It is recommended to fill the spa with lukewarm water for quick heating and to save energy. Plug the control unit into a GFCI RCD electrical outlet. Once plugged in, the control unit will display your water's temperature in Celsius. You may change the display to Fahrenheit by pressing the Celsius Fahrenheit button. Before heating the spa, set your target temperature. Operating temperatures range between 20 and 40 degrees. We recommend you do not set the temperature above 38 degrees. Press the on-off button to turn the spa on. If the heater is on, you must turn it off. The heater must be off when setting or adjusting water temperature. To adjust the temperature up or down, press and hold either of the temperature control arrows. 
The display will flash as you adjust the temperature. When you have set your desired temperature, release the arrow button. Five seconds later, the display will stop flashing. You may then press the flame button to heat the water. Turning on the heater activates the filtration system. The red flame light and the green filter light will illuminate. Once the heater has been activated, do not adjust the temperature. Never adjust the temperature when the heater is on. Heating initially takes 12 to 16 hours. The heater will work more efficiently and the water will heat faster if the spa is covered. When the desired temperature is reached, the flame light will change from red to green and the heater will go into standby mode. The filtration system operates continuously whenever the heater is on, in both active and standby modes. If you want to turn the filtration system off, you must first turn off the heater. Press the flame button. The heating system will turn off and the flame light will go out. The filtration system will operate for an additional 24 hours, then turn itself off. You may turn off the filtration system anytime the heater is not on. Check that neither the red or green flame lights are illuminated, then press the filter button. The system will turn off and the green filter light will go out. Never activate the heater when you run the sanitation system. Pressing the sanitizer button initiates the production of chlorine. The two functions are mutually exclusive. When the spa is being used regularly, you may find it cost-effective to keep the heater on at a moderate temperature between uses. To activate the jet massage system, press the water jet button. The green jet icon will illuminate. After 30 minutes, the jets will automatically turn off. To activate the bubble system, press the bubble button. The green bubble icon will illuminate. After 30 minutes, the bubbles will automatically turn off. You may run the jets and bubbles simultaneously. Never run the jets or bubbles when the spa is covered. You can cause irreparable damage and bodily harm. LED codes will flash on the control unit when a condition requiring your attention, such as low water temperature, is detected. Become familiar with these codes. See the owner's manual for complete details. Before entering the spa, measure the temperature of the water with an accurate thermometer since the tolerance of water regulating devices varies. The water in your spa should never exceed 40 degrees. Temperatures between 38 degrees and 40 degrees are considered safe for healthy adults. Use lower temperatures for soaks of more than 10 minutes and for children. Never use the spa alone or allow others to use the spa alone. Pregnant and possibly pregnant women should consult a physician before using the spa. There is a high risk of fetal damage from excessive water temperatures during the early months of pregnancy. Use should not exceed 10 minutes and water temperatures should not exceed 38 degrees. The use of alcohol, drugs, or medications may lead to unconsciousness and drowning. Persons using medications should consult a physician before using the spa since some medications induce drowsiness. Obese persons and those with a history of heart disease, lower high blood pressure and circulation, and diabetes should consult a physician before use. Exit the spa immediately if you become uncomfortable, dizzy, or sleepy. Spa heat can cause hypothermia and unconsciousness. The use of alcohol, drugs, or medications can greatly increase the risk of hyperthermia. Hyperthermia effects include failure to perceive heat, unawareness of the impending hazard, and the need to exit the spa. Maintaining the proper chemical balance in the spa is very important for spa life and safe water. Keep the spa pH level between 7.2 and 7.8, alkalinity between 80 and 120 ppm, and free chlorine between 2 and 4 ppm. Test your water chemistry weekly using the included test strips. 
See the test strip package for instructions. Follow these guidelines when adding chemicals to your spa. Do not add chemicals when the spa is occupied. Add chemicals separately to the spa. You may activate the spa jets to help dissolve and distribute the chemicals. Follow the chemical maker's instructions to avoid hazards. Always unplug the spa for servicing or maintenance. Refer to the maintenance section in the owner's manual for details. Inspect the cartridge filter every week and clean or replace the cartridge as needed. Change the water in your spa every two to three months. The built-in hard water treatment feature works automatically when the filtration pump is operating. Your spa includes a built-in salt water system. See the owner's manual for maintenance instructions. When the spa is not being used, always attach the cover and lock the buckles. A properly covered spa avoids potentially dangerous situations and keeps children out of the spa when supervision is not available. To secure the cover, pull all the buckle straps tight and lock the buckles with the provided key. Maintain a safe spa and enjoy years of happy use.